I love you, Kim. Good morning, Port Street. You've just said I'm Peter Laborde and this is Jesse Zhao. <laughs> Our time here as secondary school students over the past six years at Port Street has been so special for all of us. We were thrown together after the strenuous selective schools test of 2007, nervously anticipating what high school would hold. I bet you guys didn't expect to be thrown together with such an awesome bunch of weirdos. <laughs> years have been immensely fun and has passed by way too quickly. Kian and I are thrilled to stand here today and share with you some of our experiences that as a grade we have made through this journey together. <clears throat> the epic adventure began on the first few days of school, crowding around the designated Year 7 zone, Fountain Point. <laughs> Cautiously averting our eyes from a surprisingly exposed statue, we were little. <laughs> Less tweens, toppling over bags that were much bigger than our bodies. The words no hat, no play, no school today evidently still rang in our ears as we proudly wore the Port Street hat, which we been told was compulsory to buy. We then tried to get to know each other, asking questions like, were you an OC? And what's your love count on Bebo? Are you single? <laughs> oh yeah, they are the best of times, so carefree, until the Jibberong, Jibberagong geography excursion where Charles encountered an all too friendly kookaburra that really let loose from above. <laughs> but sadly, just as we were getting the hang of Fortune, peer support and algebra, it was time for us to ascend the social hierarchy. We struggled into the new year with a new attitude. No longer would we be youngest. No longer would we be blamed for the stench left in any room. <laughs> we were now officially the second least unimportant people at any given time. Yes, with eyes wide open, we looked for signs of recognition for our promotion. Instead, we were brutally cut short by Mr. Bates who told us, life is unfair, and then you die. <laughs> Moving on from that rather morbid interaction, overall, Year 8 came and went without incident, and closed with the Jamboree excursion. Yeah. Many shenanigans that we had on and off the bus, especially on the one that broke down. I guess you could say that on our Jamboree excursion, we did control the action. Yeah. Then, we were welcomed into Year 9 with some inspirational, hot new jams, like Rebecca Black's Friday, or the Robot Unicorn Attached song. Oh, sorry, laptops. And suddenly, we had become so much more eager and enthusiastic in class about our gaming careers. <laughs> USB filled to the brim with flash games were passed around and affected the grade. Peggle, Plants vs. Zombies, and Call of Duty. have we ever maintained such concentration during class time. <laughs> Things got serious for a second as we encountered the rigours of NatPlan 2.0. But the moment passed quickly as we went on the Great Audi Bush Camp the very next week. The bush was great, the food was less great, the bumps were stained and the wedges were intense. And who could forget Richard's short-lived modelling career as the new face of Libra? Yeah. Or Mr. Law's deadly seriousness at that commando game. <laughs> at the end of year nine, we were told that school was going to get serious. 
Year 10. The year of the school certificate to end all school certificates. Who remembers having to write a letter about Aunt Doe? Or any thought plates of meat? No one? Don't worry, we slept through it too. Another highlight of Year 10 was the dance assessment, where Tim and Julie showed us all up with their waltzing. The dancing continued as the year came to a close, with the first of many Mickey and Macy organised events, Year 10 form. Dresses of all different colours and suits. What? Yeah, a Mickey and Macy event, yeah. I'll stand by. Maybe Miles, okay, that's fine. Okay. Fe featuring Miles, okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alas, all good things come to an end. Year 11 and senior school dawned. Senior ties, subject selections, rankings, and matches runs in pink plated cars. <laughs> Three very hard terms of almost here to see work swept us by. Study habits developed under study skills, and we were quick to form study groups. <laughs> we knew it all, and we thought we were ready to win the HSC. Little did we know what was in store. We now conclude this metaphorical journey to the pinnacle of our existence. We now sit on our iron throne. A year 12 canteen line, a common room, jerseys, Fourth Street shirts, Sesame Street shirts, all symbols of our power over the common folk. <laughs> Hard work assailed us at every turn, and we needed to develop flexible, balanced time management. And by time management, we meant in terms of going to 18th birthdays, playing Candy Crush, posing for Snapchat, and getting to Challenger. <laughs> Unfortunately, just around the corner, the trials are awaited us. Belonging, titration, HR predictions, the family court, calculus, major works. These were the buzzwords, usually typed hastily at midnight on our Facebook study groups. <laughs> but we got through them. And since then, we've arrived here today. Cross-dressing day, shorts, shorts day, Asians versus whites, Barbie doing filming all the videos for this assembly. These last few weeks have been remarkably touching to watch all of us come together. I think I speak for all of us when I say we've gained so much just from being in each other's company. Sadly, I'm afraid. Sadly, today is the last day that we will ever spend here together as high school students. But it certainly shouldn't and will not be the last of our memories together. We've had a truly unforgettable six years. Thank you so much to each and every one of our teachers for reaching out to us, inspiring us with your passion for knowledge. We wouldn't be who we are today if it weren't for you. Shout out to our past year advisors, Ms. Griffin and Ms. Regan. We understand. What's <laughs> reason for everyone? A huge thank you to Mr. Osmond, Ms. Kemp, Ms. Manson, Ms. Starr and Ms. Moxon for running the school and always looking after our best interests. And then an even larger thank you to the office staff for always being lovely and always and also for running the school. What? And sick bay. And sick bay. Yeah, sick bay, yeah. Uh, the canteen staff, you have been most crucial in our survival. Through the endless hash browns, potato wedges, fruitcakes and hockey and noodles, uh, that have sustained us. Uh, last but not at all least, uh, we have, we'd like to say thank you to our current year advisors, Mr. Tippett, Ms. Samuels, and Ms. Baker. when no one else really wanted us. Thank you for stepping up and taking us on in year 11. It really couldn't have been done by anyone else.
two years have been incredible, and we are unbelievably lucky to have been on the receiving end of your kindness, care, and unorthodox maths advice, particularly in Mr. Tippett's case. <laughs> to the younger grades, we thank you also. You have contributed to the school, namely in making us appear vastly superior to all of you. Especially the year 11th. But seriously, cherish your time here at Fourth Street because too soon your time will also be up. Don't be afraid to make new friends and study hard but not excessively. <laughs> Finally, to every student of our current grade who did not initially come in year 7 but who has since joined us. You made our year whole. We are grateful for all the new memories that we now have of the school with you. And what next? Well, to paraphrase Italo Calvino, you've all nearly finished listening to Kian and Jesse's graduation speech, 2013. We all know that Fort Street traditionally ends with a quote, usually by Dr. Seuss. The quote is often light-hearted and comical, yet serious. However, seeing as the theme of travelling through time has cropped up a lot in this speech, we're actually going to end with another doctor of sorts. One who said, <clears throat> this, is one, this is one corner of one country, in one continent, on one planet, that's a corner of a galaxy, that's a corner of a universe, that is forever growing and shrinking and creating and destroying, and never remaining the same for a single millisecond. And there is so much, so much still to see. So get out there and don't look back. Matt Smith.